Geralt of Rivia. Oi, what's the point of having an extra prick in his trousers too? Yes. <laughs> Wonder what he's got in store this time. Seems like Witcher Season 4 may be forced upon Netflix against its own will. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about some of the contracts concerning the overall development of the Witcher seasons. When it comes to these big intellectual properties, they have hard contracts where it's stated where you have to produce a number of seasons. This happens with uh, the Kurtzman Star Trek series. Discovery itself has a hard contract with Netflix to develop multiple seasons, up to three seasons after its first two initial seasons. That's why we're being forced to season five no matter what. And I think that is the same situation, at least according to my speculation, that's what's happening with the Witcher series where Netflix is contractually obligated to produce five seasons of this series. And this is something we've seen with uh, Amazon as well, with Rings of Power, the Lord of Rings series, where we already saw it state in the contract, they have to produce five seasons of the Rings of Power. And this all goes back with the contract with the, the rights issuers and the people that hold uh, the rights to the intellectual property, the, of course, with the uh, Rings of Power, it's the Tolkien family, and they put it in the contract so they can receive residuals from these seasons they put a stipulation that you are forced to make five seasons of these shows so they can recoup or gain more money from the rights and the IP that they have licensed to you. And I think that is a situation with The Witcher season. That's the reason why it's coming out. That's why they're probably going to film season five at the same time because Netflix is contractually obligated to fund and to release up to season five. And that's just my basic speculation. But I think it's probably something surefire and this is all going back uh, to the the ratings that have come out when it concerns the witcher season three which are abysmal netflix released the viewership numbers for the witcher season three and it's down there near the bottom for all netflix properties that are released around 170 this is below just kids shows and other tv shows that have been released that are not even near as popular so this show doing such abysmal ratings is probably something that would incentivize Netflix to cancel the series. We see them do this with shows like Shadow and Bone, but I think the, the creators and the people that own the IP for Shadow and Bone didn't have as much power to force seasons to be created so they can gain some residuals from the overall creation of these shows. And I think that is the case with Shadow and Bone. The proprietor, the person that owns it, didn't have the power to force that in the negotiation. So we're left with a, a canceled show that some people like, a lot of people like actually, just not enough to match the budget that they're investing in to the show and I think this is something that is the opposite with The Witcher because The Witcher has all the finances but it has a lack of fan base that is dedicated to actually watching the show and I think this goes back obviously to the producers and their overall focus neglecting Geralt the key character to the entire series in lieu of other female protagonists and of course this is a failure overall in storytelling where a lot of subplots a lot of nothing storylines a full Game of Thrones uh, building of a story that people are just not connecting to that people don't really care about and a whole host of characters people don't even wonder what happens to them and i think that is the failure of this show in and of itself that's leading to the the lack of an audience that should be growing by the season three finale and that's not the case of course we know they're switching uh the lead actor henry cavill is leaving so having abysmal ratings with henry cavill there everyone being excited to still see henry cavill in the role but uh, that may have led to the ratings dropping because we already heard him quitting uh, the Witcher series before uh, season three coming out. And people probably have thought he was already gone and they didn't even watch season three. And I think it's going to be even worse for season four. So that's why it doesn't make any sense to me for Netflix uh, to continue with the overall production of Witcher. But it only makes sense if it's stipulated in the contract where they have to produce a, a fixed number of seasons. And we saw this with other contracts like the Alex Kurtzman Star Trek universe where they have it stipulated in Netflix contract where Netflix is forced to produce these seasons of these shows at a budget cost to themselves. And I think that is something we can look at as an example as these contracts are laid out and laid to bear. And that's why I think we're still getting seasons of Star Trek Discovery. That's why we're still going to get seasons of Rings of Power up to season five it's never going to be canceled no matter how terrible it is i think all we're going to see is probably reduced costs with each season going steeply down with the, the lack of ratings and i think it's the opposite with some of these other shows that are being 
produce that don't have uh, that large, broad base intellectual property name recognition like Star Trek, like Witcher, like Lord of the Rings, or like Star Wars. And I think when you compare these properties to some other properties that have less leeway to get those uh, fixed seasons uh, actually stipulated in the contract. But of course, these big properties, they can do that. And I think that's why we're going to be forced to see a whole host of terrible seasons with The Witcher. Luckily enough, I think there's probably some loopholes in these contracts where they can reduce the number of episodes, reduce the budgets to a certain amount, and they can probably try to save money that way and maybe save us a little bit of uh, suffering from seeing some of our beloved TV shows be butchered. Of course, that is not the case with Star Trek Discovery. They butchered it well enough for multiple seasons. It seems like Paramount is planning to butcher it even more so by uh, extending Alex Kurtzman's contract to produce more Star Trek content that no one really wants to watch. And I, I think that is a frustration for a lot of people that were fans of these properties that were waiting for these properties to be canceled. But it's just it's in the contract. We're going to see these for the next decade. I think Kurtzman, people were hoping there was no extension to his contract. But obviously, that's not the case. He has too much connections in Hollywood. He's part of that bad robot gang with J.J. Abrams. So there's no way he's going to be uh, kicked out of his control of Star Trek but it is a sad state of affairs I was hoping that uh, the Witcher gets cancelled but it looks like at least the suffering of this franchise will end with season 5 and that might be 2-3 to three years from now so we'll see the completion of this terrible arc of stories hashed up by a group of producers that don't even care about the, the product or franchise or the characters or the storytelling. I think that is something we have to live with with these particular developments. I think with the writer's strike and actor strike we thought we would probably get a force majeure cancellation of the the contracts related to this but that didn't happen i think maybe the the contracts maybe have some protections against that that's why we didn't see any cancellations of these shows and it seems like they're starting up they have a startup date for pre-production building up on january 2024 and that is uh, the goal for a lot of productions in hollywood to start up or their overall season of creating these tv shows in january after the long layoff because of the strikes of course there's some strikes planned for next summer so maybe there will be another halt to the overall production because the people that work on the the lighting camera and overall production and the set design might have their own strike and if they do all production on these tv shows will stop as well so this is kind of a bad season to be in hollywood and it seems like things won't be changing for the better at least if you're a fan of these popular properties but you tell me what do you think about my speculation do you think they are being forced to build out and fill out these seasons due to contractual reasons i think that's the case but i may be wrong you leave your thoughts tell me what you think like share and subscribe this is wagner knows why catch you next time